Hello, Bible Network. Today, I am going to talk more about what we started yesterday, which was why does uh, someone do all the things they do uh, to break a relationship or friendship? And um, why do we react the way we react? That's what we talked about. And we, we came to a conclusion that the things that really make us irritated or angry or act in the way we do is because of a lack that is in us, because we do not have enough love, level four love, unconditional love. That's why we do what we do. And if we can then, if we can then um, learn to have more love in our hearts, then in our lives, then we would not respond and uh, continue to uh, suffer when others try to be mean or they, they are not considerate and they are trying to to have some love that um, they cannot get. So today I want to talk a little bit more about why people do what uh, they do, why we, why we really want love so badly and why we try to get it in any way we can. And we started that already uh, previously, but I want to say more about that before I get into the actions that we take. If you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Ade Subanjo from the Bible Network, adesubanjo.com, A-D-E-S-O-B-A-N-J-O.com. I love to help professionals live a fulfilled kingdom life, making disciples for Jesus and making it a lifestyle. We do that by leaving out the joy, the peace, and the fulfillment that Jesus promises us and bring the kingdom to everywhere we go. Now, today I want to talk about the fact that, you know, there are four things that represent uh, joy and happiness to the natural man. The natural person wants to have joy and wants to be happy, wants to have uh, a, a nice feeling of uh, living well, you know, and there are four main things that um, we we try to use to get that. Now, all of this I learned by reading um, the book of uh, Greg Beer called Real Love. I learned all this from him. I, I knew this before in, in from scriptures. There are so many scriptures that talk about this, but I didn't connect with them the way that I'm sharing them now. Uh, until I read that book, and that book brought all of it together. It's like things that have been in my heart since I was saved, they all came together, and that's why I'm sharing this with you. Now, the four things, and these four things are power, pleasure, um, uh, power, pleasure, protection, which is safety, and... Um, and money, and so we, we want to have all of that to to make us feel happy, to make us feel good, to make us feel as if we have we've arrived, you know, and praise. So we want praise, we want power, we want pleasure, and we want protection. And how how do they make us feel good? You know, imagine if you go to a place, say there are hundred people there, and as soon as you get there, everyone is talking about how how wonderful you are, how beautiful you are, how kind you are, all the things that, and, and they, they tell you they are so happy to have you. You feel very good. You know, if your, your, your dad calls you and say, I'm very proud of you. I, I, I see what you're doing. I know you're trying your best. Um, and I'm very happy to have you as a son or a daughter. Or if your spouse will call you or your children will look at you and say, you are such a wonderful dad. We don't have any dad. We've never seen any dad like you. You are our only dad, yes, but you are the best dad in the world or the best mom in the world. Or your spouse comes to you and say, I, I, darling, I love you. You are so precious. I really enjoy having you as my spouse. You, you mean everything to me. We love that. We want that. So we, we try our best to get it. You know, we want to be praised. We want to have power. You know, imagine you get to a place and someone says, anything you want, just just say it. Whatever you want, we, we do it for you. So, um, I would like to have some coffee. And someone, oh, yeah, sure, we'll get you some coffee. And then they go and get you whatever you want. You know, you want to have that. Or you get to any place 
and uh, when they're speaking, you speak the, the, after they've done what they've done, they, they ask you, what do you think about it? What do you think? What do you think? And when you say, oh, I don't, I think I don't like that. You say, okay, okay, we're going to, we're going to work on that. We're going to see how that works. Even if they don't accept everything you say, the fact that they, 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 you, your voice matters. Your voice makes a difference. You, you like it. It makes you feel good. You, you don't want to be, uh, uh, invisible, like we said earlier on, like we said earlier on, you don't want to be invisible. Then there's pleasure, a good food, a good movie, good art. You go to the beach, you sit there, you enjoy the, the pleasures of nature. There's, there's money to do anything you want to do. There's money to do anything you want to do. Um, any food you want to eat sexually, also pleasure in that area, that sexual pleasure. And all these things, they are the things that make us uh, happy. We enjoy them. We, we, once we have them, we'll feel that we are doing well. And then safety or protection, which is what you get. If um, any evil thing wants to happen to you, you imagine everybody rushes to your help and they, 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 they stop any danger from happening to you. And even if it happens to you, they rush to your help to protect you, to help you, to bring you to safety. And, and that's what we want. Everybody wants that. I think every human on earth wants to have praise, power, pleasure, and protection. Now, take note that these things are not n- negative. I didn't say they are negative. However, because we want these things so we want to be happy, we begin to try to get all those things. Um, and this is what we're trying to do whenever we're in a relationship. We're trying to want, we want our relationships and our connections with people to have these four components all the time. We want them. We need them. Everybody needs them. However, this is not what love is like. Love is different from this. The feeling that we get when people praise us, we want them to praise us, but we want them to praise us freely. We want them to give it to us, and that's what we know. That's what we want. That's what we desire. We want people to praise us because they really think that we are good. They really know that we are good. We are, we, and, and, and all those things that they say, we want them to come genuinely from, from them and also real to us. Now, what happens is that if I, if I pretend, the, the feeling is not as real. And so, if, if for example, if I go out and, and I, I, you know, I'm meaning inside my house, but when I, whenever I'm outside, I pretend to be a good person and people are praising me for being good, that praise is, is not the same. I don't feel it as I would have felt it if I was really good or I was being myself and people are praising me for myself. And so because we try to get all these things, these four, four things, praise, power, pleasure, we try to get them, they, they reduce in their value. And that's why when someone, when in a relationship and someone doesn't do what we like, so we don't have power over them, we try to sh- attack them. So we shout, we, we, we disconnect ourselves from them, we, we do whatever we need to do, we get very angry because we are not getting what we want. We're not getting that pleasure, we're not getting the praise, we're not getting the power, and we're not getting the protection. We're afraid that something's going to happen. And that's why everybody does what they do. So if you go to work today, and your boss comes and screams at you or shouts at you or talks to you rudely, you try to think, what is he trying to get out of the four? <laughs> what is he trying to get? Maybe he's afraid that he will, be, he will lose his job because you're not doing it as fast as he wants. That's one. Well, maybe he feels that you are disrespecting him by showing up a little bit late. Uh, maybe he's, he feels that you're, disres- you, you, you're, you're blocking his chances. He's just protecting himself because maybe you're, you're quite good. You're more educated than him. And he thinks that if, you, if he continues to promote you or say good things about you, you eventually take his job from him. Or maybe he's just having a bad day. 
somebody spoke to him rudely in the morning and by the time he came to you and uh, you are not done, you're not finished your work without finding out why, he just takes it out on you. Whatever the case, it's because he is not feeling loved. Anyone that comes at you and tries to do things to you is because they're not feeling love. They don't have enough love in their life. Even in little things, like in the home, maybe your husband doesn't take off the, his socks from, from everywhere, puts his socks everywhere, clothes everywhere. Why is he doing that? Because he doesn't know how to do that. He doesn't, he's not thinking about you at the time. And so he wants to have the freedom to do what he wants to do, wants to have the power, you know. Uh, power means you know, you sit down and everybody takes care of you all the time. And so all of these things are why we do what we do. We, it's, it's a lack of love so, such that we don't see the other person, we see only ourselves. When we are lacking, when we are starving, we don't think of the other. At, at the time you are starving, you're only thinking of survival. And so when people around you are always thinking, they're only starving thinking of how they can be loved, only their own self. They hurt, they hurt the other, they, they take from the other. And so this is where the problem is. So whenever we inter, in, get into a problem with someone in loving them or in, in our relationship with them, we need to remember the reason why they are doing the thing they're doing is because they are starving. They are starving. And so it helps us to get to the place where we can forgive them. We can forgive them. So today is already too long, but I, want, I needed to see that because in the next couple of days, as I go into all the getting and protecting habits, it's important to, to, to have this foundation that the reason why the other person is doing what they're doing to us is because they are starving of love themselves. We talked about that yesterday. I just tried to put more uh, on it today. And tomorrow, I'm going to talk a little bit more on our own actions as they do what they do. We're going to stop talking about, we're going to stop um, wondering, wor- worrying about what the person, other person is doing. I'm going to talk about what's going on in your own heart so that you can get freedom and eventually be able to help others. So that's it for today. If you want to hear all the other uh, very good um, messages I've put out before, go to addesobanjo.com slash telegram, A-D-S-O-B-A-N-J-O dot com slash telegram. Share this with your friends and neighbors uh, and family, and the Lord bless you. Father, I pray for fresh grace, fresh oil, fresh power upon your people, fresh boldness. Help every one of us to feel love, to know that you love us so much, and to go out there and be the light of the world. As we make disciples for you, Lord, we, we receive great strength in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you.